welcome everyone to the day trade masters market update here with myself Corey Gardner Justin Becker and Maurice Lundman explain farming coin versus others for new users so great question there we go through pretty in depth with uh the first two articles the first one is what to do when a trade setup is posted the second one talks about farming versus um the set and forget methods. So you can really farm any coin if you want. It depends on your trading strategy. So that's where we can take advantage of the volatility in the markets. Um, some are much easier to farm than others. We've got examples like FET that just, there's no pullbacks on that one, for instance. Um, it was, but we wrote it up for 200 plus percent before it finally pulled back. So that's one that you can't really farm. You just keep riding it up with stop loss. Uh, where there are others, like Geek was an example of one that we were farming quite rapidly, quite quite consistently for quite a long time. I think it was six, eight weeks of sometimes three times a week, we would make 30 plus percent on that one where it keeps popping off. Um, an example, so this is one that we came out with DTM Premium. Uh, this week for Vsys was uh, an example. So when we put a trade set up out, typically what we want to see is we can get an early entry. We talk about early entries for DTM premium. Uh, that's where we can get in early on these trades and typically ride it up to this first pullback. So for newer members, we always want to see a breakthrough and then a retrace and set up support. So I'm just going to zoom this in so we can see it a little bit better. So we don't always get nice thick candles. What we do sometimes see, especially with these coins that are going to run, uh, is just a wick, a wick back, a pullback. So we got two wicks perfectly right into our entry zone. It's right at the top. That's why there's a zone there. There's the entry line. And then there's a slash. We got 239 slash 248. And then this one took off. So that's where but two attempts, these are four hour candles. So you've got eight hours to get that position. They might just be snap wicks down there, uh, but you can have your limit orders filled ahead of time and then come back and put your stop losses in. Um, but this is where we can get in and ride that up, take profit three, perfect. So some people like the set it and forget method. Uh, you can do that with OCO orders, but then also once we take profits, we, we're talking farming or compounding these gains, it came back down, made support on entry again. And with DTM premium, we put out an announcement saying that this thing is setting up for another move. Uh, we hit TP1 shortly after, four or eight hours after. So that's an, we can use that same allocation that same trade setup for an additional 12 and a half percent or so uh we don't always know how big these moves are going to be so that can be a set and forget you can ride that up with stop loss too if you're sitting at the desk or just set your take profit one with an oco order take profit one take profit two if you want um but that's the idea so there's different strategies for different markets and there's Sometimes, depending on your strategy, it's better to sit and wait and come back to the desk if you're more hands off, if you're more investor minded. Um, whereas we've got opportunities like with the scalp trading and with the shorter term uh, setups, the two to 48 hour setups with DTM premium, where we can get in, make a quick 12 and a half, 25 percent or so on some of these coins and then wait until we get some confirmation for the larger swing trades we've got these on medium just because we are posting free trade setups for people as well and they're just really good information it's really what comes down to um we want to see portfolio growth so if we're just getting stop loss stop loss stop loss it's going to be frustrating so we've got step-by-step -step videos how to use the trade setups um, rebuilding the chart on TradingView is a really good start. So you can set alerts. It's going to, it can be a little intimidating at first. Uh, it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to look good. You know, it's just functional so we can set alerts and, uh, you can build off of that. Right. So we talked about avoiding fake outs and, uh, allocation size as well. So <clears throat> we walk you through some of the basic stuff uh setting up your trend lines things just very basic very basic so you can read the chart set your alerts and go from there um really what i wanted to point out here was the fake outs so these wicks 
when we can see these these wicks that's what nico was talking about when it's just choppy sideways like that it's really tough so it can go either way you know we're, we're it's more gambling at that point than it is trading than it is waiting for structure and having a systematic strategy so what can happen is that uncertainty in the market can be pushed around either way so we saw the last chart you know that uncertainty and then it pushes down to stop loss right so we want to avoid that what we're looking for is these nice solid candles so this is what i'm talking about we'll really go through and take a look so we know exactly when the candle is going to close we can be looking there watching nice thick green candles perfect closes perfectly on entry line Perfect. We can get an entry in, market order in, into the market, set our stop loss, and that's where we can use an OCO order and set our stop loss at the same time, TP1, TP2. Um, I'm never shy of taking you know profit off the table, even if it's 5-8%, raising that stop loss up as it goes is a really good uh, option as well, in my opinion. You know, there's no point leaving 10% uh, profit on the table, trying to push that 25 or waiting for the 25 if the market's not gonna cooperate. So that's the idea and uh, it's gonna save you a lot of headaches. So we go through everything in depth here. There are two videos attached as well. So uh, this is just the, the first article and then we start talking about um, some of the more advanced methods. So risk management, uh, licking your ice cream, and of course the farming versus the set and forget methods too. So uh, make sure to come in here. They are in, uh, there's versions in the back office, the DTM back office, the BTAP back office, the main blog, uh, the, the subscribers blog, and uh, the videos are in there as well. But just those articles are nice because it brings it up into one easy to use. Um, article it's well worth having those notes with you every step of the way as that trade matures and just little notes on what to look out for you gotta watch to avoid fake outs especially right now is uh, we're seeing a lot of wicks a lot of volatility especially on kucoin um, where it can be tough trading and if you get in at the wrong time it's a struggle versus if you know well just taking that five seconds to refer back to the materials being like okay this is a fake out versus this is strong confirmation of it setting up support on entry check mark good to go put our allocation in and you know it's a much different experience than trying to force the trade during markets that are working against you so lots more to come you know we talked about licking your ice cream this is the time to enjoy the profits right okay. so it can be tough um, there will be a point in time in the not so distant future where we're looking back and just like, I need a break. I, I can't handle trading anymore. We need to take a few days off because this is crazy. It's just every single day we're seeing profits. We saw a glimpse in January. It's January. The first glimpse of the bull run. I mean, we made almost a thousand percent cumulative total, right? Mm -hmm. So there's got to be a pullback. Nothing goes up straight in a line. Uh, it can be tough because it can be, you know, if, especially if you're getting in halfway through or three quarters of the way through that run up, it feels short, but, but this is just the beginning. So stay consistent. This is the time to be doing the training, fine tune your strategy so you know when to get in and have a plan to exit the market with us as well. So, yeah, I'm also wrapping up all most of the courses, chapters now for the UTC course. We're really getting into strategies now. So definitely, like Corey said, if you really want to, fine-tune your strategy and see wait, while the market is now like this, it's a good time to up your skills. So.